Here's something you should be aware of if you have a property with a metal fence or handrail system like this one. And that of course is the bottom of the rail where it sits in the concrete. I'm talking about this area right here and you can see that a lot of times they will pour the stairway, they'll pour the, the ramp, they'll finish it off and then later on they core drill into the concrete. They will drill a hole and then set the post and then fill it up with a concrete um, epoxy adhesive. Um, the only problem is, and you can see it right here, that it hasn't been filled up to the top of the walkway. Now here's what happens. You get a little bit of water and this water can come from anywhere. Let's face it, um, the weather, someone cleaning off the ramp, um, anywhere. As long as you're going to have water and metal and concrete, you're going to have corrosion. You're going to have rust and eventually you are going to have problems with the handrail itself. So if you have something like this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to fill it up a little bit higher uh, make it, you know, get some, even some cement, anything, or find the adhesive that the, um, I mean, not the adhesive, find the filler that they used for the original fence post um, materials and just add it up, you know, add, add a little bit more to this area. And it's, it's, it's not going to be as good as if the original hand railing installers installed it themselves but um, it's gonna it's gonna help a little bit and again that's what we're looking for a simple solution to a problem that could end up costing a lot of money in the future now don't ask me why I have no idea why the handrail installers don't do this and maybe it's job security they know that they can come back in a few years and they'll be putting a new handrail system in here I don't know but I see this a lot now I went ahead and made a drawing provided you with the drawing to give you a better idea what's going on they will actually drill a hole into the sidewalk or the ramp or the stairs with a core drill and then set the metal post or the handrail for the metal post, whether it's a complete system or a section that's going to be welded on later and then filled up with some type of a cement based filler. And again, these fillers, I'd imagine you can find them at your local home improvement centers. There are, I, I've actually seen floor leveling fillers that might actually work. You just go down there. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dry product like cement and you can um, mix it and it's a self-leveling product something like that might work good but again they might have other things that you could use but the main thing would be to fill the hole and if you could make it uh, a little bit higher than the existing walkway and you can see that in the picture here you know it's it's even this is something that's even with the walkway or the ramp um, providing you with an area that will at least keep the water from pooling up around the bottom of the base of the post. Now if you want to take it one step further, make sure that it's a little higher. And you can see here, this is actually something that looks like it was done by the government or the city. It's a sign, it's a street sign, or the bottom of a street sign. So it was core drilled into the, into the walkway or sidewalk. They drilled a hole and then they placed the post in the hole and then filled it with a, this looks like it's just filled with regular mortar. So cement and sand mixture with water, you get mortar. And um, this is actually what this looks like and it looks like it's doing fine. And um, this is kind of what I'm talking about. If you can, if you have a post that's uh, got, a, got a little, uh, it's not even with the top, or flush with the top of the walkway then you could just add a little filler fill it up a little higher you know and you could always slope it away you know have it a little higher near the post and a little lower to the walkway anything to divert the water and keep it away from these posts is going to be beneficial I mean the last thing you want to do is have a pool a little hole where water can accumulate 
and eventually rust out or corrode the bottom of the metal post, um, leading to a another repair bill that shouldn't have been required by the property owner in the first place. So two things here, if you have a situation like this, wouldn't be a bad idea to fill it with some type of a cement-based uh, product. Um, and two, if you're having a um, railing, a handrail or fence, built like this where they're actually going to core drill into the concrete and use a filler like this make sure that they actually fill it up to the top and uh, so that you can eliminate a problem like this uh, from happening.